Here we have another improper integral. I can definitely see why I have an infinite limit. As I think about how am I going to find this antiderivative, I went right away to factoring. And sure enough, this one does factor. And so that means this is a great opportunity for integration by partial fractions. And as a reminder, partial fractions is where we set this up as 4 over x plus 1 times the quantity x plus 3 is equal to some constant a over x plus 1 plus some constant b over x plus 3. And if we were to integrate both sides, you can see these would be natural log antiderivatives, and so we could do the work. So that means we have to find these constants a and b. And in order to do that, we can get rid of our fractions by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by x plus 1, x plus 3. And what we result in is 4 equals a times x plus 3 plus b times x plus 1. And now if I let x equal negative 3, this entire factor will go to 0. And I have 4 equals b times negative 3 plus 1 would be negative 2. Therefore, b is going to be negative 2. And if I let x equal negative 1, then this entire factor will go to 0. And we will have 4 equals a times negative 1 plus 3 is 2. Or a is equal to a positive 2. And so now that we have found the constants for our partial fraction, we can actually find the antiderivatives. And as we thought before, these are both going to be natural log. So we really have 2 ln absolute value x plus 1 minus 2 ln absolute value x plus 3 evaluated from 2 to b where b is approaching infinity. You'll see in the next step, I factored out this 2. And I also took advantage of the log rule, where if we have a subtraction, then we can condense that into one log with a division. And so now I can evaluate this limit. So now as we have b approaching infinity, well, this then is going to be huge over huge, or really 1. Because huge plus 1 over huge plus 3 is really just 1. And ln of 1, then this entire limit, or this entire value goes to 0, because ln of 1 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. So we really have negative 2 ln of three-fifths.